happening? Johnny Jetson from the Tattooed Millionaires here. Welcome aboard Old Susanna. Why don't I show you around the place? Old Susanna is originally a 1969 Trailways bus, converted in 72 by legendary rock band Leonard Skinner. That's right. Legend has it, Leonard Skinner had originally put this bus together. We kept as much of the original vibe as we could. We got her off a guy who was living in here with his three dogs. That's right, when we got it, it was stripped out. It was full of bad 70s Levitt's furniture. Oh my God, we had to clean this bus out. There's a king size bed in the back. I mean, it sounds cool, but it wasn't cool. See, yeah, like I was saying, we got this bus off this crazy dude who lived in here with his three dogs. And when we came to pick up the bus, he insisted on keeping a piece of it. I said, what are you talking about? I want the Silver Eagle off the front of the bus. I said, you're not getting the Silver Eagle, man. We're dropping all this cash down, and you want to walk off with the Silver Eagle off the Silver Eagle bus? Give me a break. So I turn my back, and what do I see the guy do? Underneath this little picture here, there used to be a clock. The guy walks off with the Silver Eagle clock, and he wouldn't give it back. And he wouldn't knock anything up the price, either. What a bastard. We got the old plans from the Vulcan Coach Company in Birmingham, Alabama, where she was put together for Leonard Skinner, and we tried to duplicate the exact interior as they had it. Now, most of what was original that we could save, we did. The ceiling, the cabinets, some of the upholstery up in front, and the dashboard is all original to the bus, and it's pretty cool, 70s vibe. It's in the furniture we built ourselves, and the girls helped us upholster the uh, cushions and the pillows, you know, or a little bit like a rock and roll partridge family. It's the family's all involved in this one, you know what I'm saying? So this bus is haunted, that's right, it's haunted. Several of us have seen ghosts and felt creepy crawlies on us at certain times. We keep her parked right next to the Hollywood Forever Cemetery, and I'm starting to think that some of the spirits just hopped over the wall and started living in, you know, better confines. This is known as the state room, but with the Tattoo Millionaires, we refer to it as the estate room. And over here, we have our little bar sink set up, and well, you know, now and then we like to imbibe in a little alcohol. It's good for the soul, you know? And as legend has it, this right here is the cabinet that Ronnie Van Zandt would flip up and reach into and pull out his whiskey bottle right there. Here we have our bullet collection, which is an interesting story in itself. It seems everywhere we run into the law, they want to give us something. You'd think it'd be a hard time, like the handcuffs and a trip to jail for us rock and rollers, but no. The cops seem to want to give us gifts, like bullets, shotgun shells, and 38s, and I don't even know what this is, but I wouldn't want to get hit by that, that's for sure. This one's autographed by the Carrollton Police Department, just north of Dallas. They had a little breakdown on the highway, but man, were they friendly, they helped us out. They got our bus running strong, and like I said, they stocked us with ammunition. Gotta love those Texas cops. In here we've got our bathroom, that's right, the restroom, you know, a little potty room. Take care of business in here, we've got the full sink, bathtub, shower. Now we don't shower too often, so we got a bed in there now, you know, so we can get down. Through here we have the bunk bays. This is where we all sleep at night. Big comfy bunks for the band. And you can see, the Tattoo Millionaires, we've got deluxe bunks. That's right, 6'6 six, six by 32 inches. Plenty for me. Inside I've got it decorated with banners of the cities that we've been to. And uh, this is where the main festivities of the rock and roll band go on, the debauchery. I can't even tell you the stories that go on in this bus. Not on this TV station. Oh, hey. Oh, Jemima, I'm trying to make some time here with my check. Back here we've got the rear lounge, the couch across the back, and the guitar all ready to go. We sit back here, we strum tunes when we're rolling down the highway. We also got a little bar back here where we keep cold drinks. Here we call it the romper room, you know? All kinds of crazy stuff goes on in the back of the bus, just like it did in high school. Only back then we were just tickling the girls. Now we're tickling them pink. To you and all that you do from Tattoo Millionaires.